costs, which is became up and running. Another interesting feature in uh, Bennett Lab is that you can customize the icon of each device. So assuming that you need uh, your lab to look uh, more realistic and look like uh, uh, more better, you may uh, decide to get uh, an image of a real Cisco switch. In my case, I will look for uh, a real image for uh, 680 uh, switch icon in BNG format. So I will choose the search by images. And now I have found this image, but it looked like uh, it, it looked uh, not good. I will choose this image and will search for a relevant image or similar images. And now I can see that, that this image is perfect for my needs. So I will open the snipping tool on my windows and will, will select this image. Then I will hit copy, select copy. Then you can open any photo editor software like Paint.net, for example. For in my case, I will use uh, Paint.net, which is a perfect software to do what I need to do right now. So in Paint.net software, I will paste the image that I just downloaded, or I will open a new image and will paste the image that, uh, that I was copying in the clipboard. Then I will hit image, resize, and will resize the image to 60 pixel. And I will click on the maintaining of aspect ratio. So now I did a resize for the switch. I can make it bigger if I need, because it is a core switch. So I will try to make it uh, a little bit bigger. So I will resize this image to me uh, 100 pixel. Unfortunately, because of the resizing, the, big, uh, the picture be became uh, not very clear. So I will try to uh, hit control and, uh, and choose the original image and will open. Sorry for the interruption. So the application is freezing. So. No problem, I will close uh, this application and will start it again. So I will select that I need to open a new image and I will paste the clipboard. Then I will select the option to resize the image and I will give, give it like 200 pixel. Then I will choose to save this file in any location. So I will call it VSS. Then I will hit OK. Now I did a quick resize for the image. Now I can go again to the Bennett Lab uh, uh, graphical user interface. And I can click right click on any switch of uh, these switches and click edit and choose uh, to upload a new icon. So I will hit upload. And then we'll look for the file that I just did a uh, resize for it. So uh, this file. Then I will uh, look uh, look for this file by clicking on uh, the arrow, arrow icon. And as you can see here, the file is imported and the image in, is imported in the list of Bennett Lab icons. So I will choose it and will click select. But it didn't change it yet, so I will repeat the steps. I selected now the VSS, then I will click Select, not Close. I believe this was the problem, then I will, I will click Save. Now, as you can see here, you have a, a, a similar to a, what you can see in production environment, a switch uh, that uh, a real uh, logo of the switch replacing the default logo of uh, the Bennett Lab switches.